Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5, but also we're going to be talking about the crossover, mainly to do with Supergirl, so it's a bit of a mishmash in this video, but we've got our first official look at Godspeed, and I'm so excited. Plus also we got these leaks from Canada Graphs, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Alright, so we're going to talk about this Godspeed stuff first, and then we'll get into the crossover stuff. We've got our first official look at Godspeed, and it's pretty cool. You guys have to get ready for this, and I have to say, it does look kind of different from the on-set photos. I do believe this is obviously kind of all CGI'd up, that's why it's a bit more glossy, it's a bit more glamorous. I feel like in one of these photos, potentially Godspeed is in a all CGI situation, or that's just my eyes going crazy. But anyway, we get to see our first look at Godspeed, and oh my god, his suit looks so cool. Yeah, they changed their eyes a bit, his eyes are less dark from what we saw in the set photos. They seem to be like they've sort of dulled down a bit of the gold a bit, and I think this is just because this is not just like a straight up photo from the set, this is just after they've done some touch ups I guess to gloss it over. But you get to see him in his full Godspeed look and this is happening in just tomorrow actually, just a few days time so wow I can't wait to finally see Godspeed in live action, I'm a massive fan of his in the comics because he came in recently, he was August Hart, and he wanted to become an agent of justice and do what the Flash couldn't do and actually kill the criminals, get rid of the scum, and so essentially he turned into a villain, he started taking all the speedsters powers after the speed force storm, there was loads of speedsters, that's how he got his powers, and so he goes around killing all these speedsters and he essentially becomes a villain, he thinks he's a hero of sorts, but then obviously the Flash has to stop him, so I don't know how far they're going to actually follow that in the TV show, hopefully he gets to stick around, hopefully he's not just a one and done thing like say Trajectory, that would suck so hard because he's a massive character so I'm fingers crossed hoping either he appears a couple more times this season or he actually appears next season as the main villain, this is like a teaser in the future. So yeah, you see him and his lightning is there. It's officially confirmed his lightning is going to be white lightning. It doesn't even look like it's got like any yellow streaks around it. Maybe it's different when he's running, but for now it's just white lightning just coursing around his body, a bit like how Zoom's lightning actually goes around. That's what it kind of looks like. So, yeah, very similar to Zoom. And compared to the set photos, like I mentioned, it looks a bit different because I think they definitely have touched it up and done some alterations digitally. But we don't know who's actually under the mask right now, all we know is it's a stunt actor who played Zoom and has done many of these characters, so whether or not they will reveal that, say, August Hart is this person, or maybe they changed the comics and it's someone we know on the TV show, and maybe they saved this for Season 6, like what Arrow did with Vigilante, but obviously in a better way than what they did with Vigilante, because that wasn't very good, and, you know, they're making the vi Season 6 villain, and then you think, oh, it's going to be August Hart, it's going to be August Hart, we know a character called August Hart in the TV show, maybe they introduce that next season, but it turns out it's someone else. A bit like how they teased that Jay Garrick in season 2 was Hunter Zolomon, but then the real Jay Garrick was the man in the Iron Mask. So I think if they do something like that, maybe change his origin a bit, that would be super exciting. So I'm really, really hoping he stays around for season 6, but... Yeah, so that is the first photo of him, he's got the lightning coursing around him, you see the upper part of his body and his mask, it's all white and yeah, amazing suit. So we go on to the next photo, so they've released two official photos and there's this one inside a lab. And so this doesn't look like Star Labs at all, it's too white, too bright, and maybe that's a bit why I think it looks a kind of a bit artificial, it's because the inside of this building looks really, really polished. And obviously his suit looks very glossy and polished and this is after special effects because you can see the lightning going around and so maybe that's why it looks a bit strange in here but the suit nevertheless is really really cool and like I said I think the touching up has made the suit look a lot lighter like the lightning bolt and everything in this photo looks like it's kind of 
very very light sort of pale yellow rather than a gold sort of more deeper tone that we saw in the set photos so I'm sure I'll have a comparison on the screen right now so you can see maybe in the touch up they change it a bit but I don't know this might not be the finished product but for now this is what they're previewing and so they're very very confident in this obviously this is the first piece of marketing that they've used godspeed in they haven't made a post or anything maybe we'll get that before tomorrow they haven't released a new trailer or anything so i don't know if that's going to come a day before the actual premiere of this episode so yeah he's in a lab he's standing still He's sort of in this stance that's very confrontational, so maybe this is fighting Nora for the first time. Maybe it's really early on in the episode, or this is after the big fight that we saw from the behind the scenes photos when he kills the new speedster called Leah, and Nora witnesses the death, and then obviously maybe Godspeed runs away. He takes Leah's powers and takes her speed, and then this is later when Godspeed confronts Nora and maybe this is in some sort of lab, maybe it's his CSI lab if he is in fact August Hart. I don't know, but it doesn't look like it's any specific place that we've seen already, so I look forward to that. So these are just some internal shots that obviously we didn't get to see from the outside, but yeah, so that is amazing. I absolutely can't wait to see Godspeed in tomorrow's episode, so I'll have my review out for that, especially soon after when it comes out, so I'm really excited to talk about that tomorrow. Alright, so let's move on to talk about this crossover stuff, mainly to do with Supergirl. So, it's been confirmed that in the Supergirl Season 4 finale, La Monica Garrett, who played the Monitor in the Elseworlds crossover, is going to be officially appearing. And so, this is coming from Canada Grass, so check out his blog. He had this whole page on the finale. Maybe I'll do another video on the finale, but I thought I would mention it in this video because obviously the Godspeed thing is not too big a thing to talk about. Obviously it's a massive moment to talk about, but there's not too much content to go over. So yeah, over on Canada Graphs' blog you can actually see the descriptive details of what he was able to get. So he says, as I reported earlier this week, with the first shot of him on the Arrowverse set outside of the Elseworlds crossover was on the Arrow set earlier this week. I can confirm he is going to be on Supergirl 2. And he is there looking at someone's dead body. So, this was all shot in studio, so don't expect photos of it. But start your panic meters now, he says. Who will it be? Why? Is it Crisis on Infinite Earths related? And he says, guess we'll have to wait and see. Yes, we have to wait and see, but we can theorize. So it's amazing to see that they are sort of teasing what's to come for Crisis next year already this early. Because like Henry DeGrasse mentioned, earlier this week, we got the official first look at the Monitor on Arrow season finale, which was really, really crazy. I was not expecting him to appear, but now he's confirmed to be on Supergirl. This teases what's to come, and this is right at the end of the season, so maybe we get that with The Flash as well. I have no idea, but he's looking at someone's dead body. Who is that? Who could be the dead body? So we think, as in regards to Supergirl right now, right, so we've got all these big characters. We've got Neo, who was newly introduced. We've got Brainiac 5. We've got all our close characters. It could be any of them. But also it could be another hero perhaps from the outside, maybe it's someone that we've previously met in the Arrowverse, maybe it's like the Ray or something that was introduced two crossovers ago. It has to be someone of importance, I don't feel like it's going to be anyone from Team Supergirl as per se, it could be, I could be totally wrong, but if I'm theorising about it I would say it's probably someone we met, probably maybe it could be a doppelganger, maybe like a different version of Supergirl, maybe it's Power Girl, and it teases that, yes, the Anti-Monitor is on his way, and he's coming much sooner than we expected. Perhaps the crossover actually starts earlier than normal, maybe it's like episode 5 or something, because with them teasing in the finales, I don't know how long they can prolong it, so really, really start to go crazy. Let me know in the comments below, what are your theories, who do you think is going to be this dead body that the Monitor looks over, 
and what do you think his warning is going to be for Supergirl? Do you think it's going to be in line with what's happening on Arrow? Obviously, we don't have any concrete information as to why he's appearing, but it's obviously linked to Crisis because that was the teaser at the end of the Elseworlds crossover, and La Monica Garrett is going to appear, well, reappear as the Monitor in Crisis on Infinite Earths next year, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below, please be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications and leave a like, but also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the DCTV show to stay up to date with me. So anyway guys, I'll see you guys later, goodbye.